Okay, so good morning. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, this work is done, uh, um, is being done with, uh, together with uh, Arsene Kvedelice and uh, Dimitar Mladenov. Uh, it's, and it's on the, um, so Boris metric, or, or the quantum fissure information, which are closely related, um, on rank deficiency um, QDIT states, so on uh, the space of density matrices, which uh, have uh, a lower, lower rank. Um, so because of uh, modern applications of uh, quantum physics, which, well, now mostly and most interestingly are, is, um, well, quantum computation, for example, um, there is a big interest in the, uh, in the properties of, uh, of the set of density matrices uh, uh, of finite size. And uh, so this set of n time n complex matrices, uh, um, well, the, the geometry of this set depends, of course, of, of the metric that we, that we use. Um, if we choose, uh, so as for the simplest possibility, so the trace metric, uh, for example, and the Hilbert-Schmidt metric, um, there are some drawbacks of these uh, choices. So if you look on the trace metric, defined, uh, defined in this way, so we take the trace of the square root of the difference uh, of, of the cube of the, um, I mean, of the, of the difference of uh, uh, two density matrices, uh, then such um, the defined metric is monotone but not Riemannian. Uh, on the other hand, if we take uh, on the so-called Hilbert-Schmidt metric, uh, the difference in the definition uh, is that we take the square root after the trace, not uh, before as, as here. Uh, such a metric is uh, Riemannian but not monotone. Actually, this was, uh, uh, this was not obvious. Uh, uh, for some time, and I think only in an article in 2000, it was shown by a counterexample, uh, I mean, this property or non-property of, of the Hilbert-Schmidt metric before it was uh, thought uh, as a conjecture that, uh, uh, that uh, uh, the Hilbert-Schmidt metric uh, satisfies uh, this, this property. Um, but we want uh, uh, a metric uh, on our space to be uh, nice and uh, satisfy these uh, these properties, and we have to have a look on other metrics as well. Uh, and so, so there's an issue of establishing a, a, a suitable uh, Riemannian structure um, on the on the space of density matrices on the quantum counterparts of uh, uh, of the space of probability measures. And uh, so, one of the well-behaved uh, metrics uh, uh, and, um, well, very often um, well chosen uh, for these purposes is, uh, is the uh, Boris metric or uh, so uh, the, uh, the analog of the, of the so-called Fisher metric. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so the purpose of this work is to, is to study uh, the properties of, uh, uh, of this metric on, on the space of uh, um, n-dimensional um, density, uh, quantum states, uh, density matrices. Um, so, I mean, this metric was studied in the 90s, in the 2000s, and, uh, and uh, in some special cases, the explicit formulae are known. Um, uh, however, because the, the structure of, uh, of the differential um, of the space uh, is not uh, really trivial, and especially uh, in the case of uh, lower rank density matrices, we have to uh, we we need to analyze uh, this space more carefully. So, and this is uh, this is the this is the goal of, goal of our work, and uh, uh, we'll we'll look especially on the case of a qubit and a qtrid, so uh, two and three uh, level quantum systems. Um, so important for quantum computing. Um, so uh, as for the definition, so Pn uh, is the uh, our state space, uh, which uh, comprises so uh, density matrices 
so n, time, n times n uh, complex density matrices, Hermitian, uh, positive semi-definite with trace one, um, and uh, P and K will be then the space, uh, uh, which consists of uh, these matrices of rank K, which we'll be interested in. Uh, according to an article of Dittmann from 1995, uh, on every such a space, P and K, we can establish uh, uh, the Boris metric, GB. And uh, so in this way, we create a, a subspace of, uh, of a fixed rank um, as, uh, as this Riemannian manifold. So, so the space, P and K, uh, this pair, and uh, the Boris metric, uh, GB. Uh, but then, uh, so if we, if we consider the union of, of, of these spaces, uh, <coughs> so there are some non-trivial things which appear and uh, we have yeah, to be careful and uh, this, the analysis is more uh, uh, involved. So the research goal is to derive the Boris metric. Uh, the primary one uh, is the, to derive the Boris metric on, on each, uh, on each uh, such a subspace, so P and K. And as I as I've said already, uh, it's the qubit and qtrit that we are, uh, for the beginning, interested in. Um, so what is the uh, Boris metric, uh, Boris distance? Um, uh, first of all, it's called uh, in a different way in different fields. So Boris is probably the most, uh, most uh, uh, used uh, uh, name for uh, quantum information theory. And um, the Boris distance uh, is a function of the so-called uh, fidelity. So uh, fidelity of uh, two uh, states or density matrices is defined in this way as a trace of this, of this square root. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it uh, appears here in the definition of the distance between uh, two uh, uh, two mixed uh, states, row one, row two. Um, and such a defined distance is, uh, yeah, is monotone. Uh, so and uh, so the, the metric uh, to which, uh, the corresponding metric is, uh, is a monotone Riemannian metric. And it has like more nice properties than just these. Uh, it's uh, Fisher and Fubini study adjusted. That means uh, that, well, Fisher adjusted means that uh, it corresponds, it is equal to the Fisher metric on the space of, um, uh, if we, on the space of uh, uh, diagonal uh, density matrices. And Fubini study adjusted means that uh, it uh, equals the Fubini study metric uh, if we uh, are just on the space of pure states. So, so on, uh, yeah, for a qubit uh, uh, on the surface of the block sphere where pure states are located, it is equal to the uh, Fubini study uh, metric. Um, uh, the, the metric can be defined uh, actually in a much more like intuitive way of through uh, the notion of the purification of a, of, uh, of a mixed state. Uh, yeah, which is just to, just to repeat. Uh, so uh, a quantum, a mixed state can be understood either as a statistical mixture uh, or, uh, uh, or um, uh, as a part, uh, I mean, as uh, of a higher dimensional uh, pure state. So, so for, for any mixed state, uh, from a um, Hilbert space uh, HA, we can always find a pure state psi in a larger uh, Hilbert space, uh, such such that if we trace out uh, the uh, the additional system, we recover the uh, the original state row A. This is of course not uh, unique, and uh, yeah, with the notion of purification, uh, we can define uh, the Boris metric and, and, and the fidelity. Uh, uh, in this way, so uh, the fidelity would be uh, the maximum over all purifications of the states row one and row two, which we denote by psi one, 
psi rho one, psi rho two. Uh, so uh, we maximize uh, the overlap, overlap of these uh, of these states, and uh, in this way, we uh, find uh, the fidelity of such two states, and uh, correspondingly, correspondingly the Borel's distance uh, over purifications uh, over purification is is defined like like this. Uh, okay, maybe I'll just briefly s just uh, uh, say something about uh, the difference uh, or the connection to the Hilbert-Schmidt uh, distance for a qubit. So for a qubit, uh, we can uh, express the density matrix in the block representation. So, uh, so poly matrices and uh, the block vector uh, tau. Um, so in this case, um, we have a picture here. Yeah. So yeah, the Hilbert-Schmidt uh, metric induces a, a, a flat geometry on, uh, on, on the space. Uh, so uh, what we get is a, is a, a uh, block ball in three dimensions um, where, as I said already, the pure states are located on the surface uh, on the block ball. Mixed states uh, are um, in, the, in the inside, the completely mixed state rho star uh, being in the middle. Uh, so in the case of the uh, Borel's distance, uh, we, have, uh, we have a semi-sphere uh, uh, R3 embedded in uh, four-dimensional four space. Uh, here, um, here the pure states are on the, on the circle. Uh, this one, a completely mixed state. Uh, yeah, so, uh, so uh, yeah, that uh, just uh, to illustrate the difference a little bit between these two metrics. But uh, yeah, let's uh, come to uh, the way how we solve, uh, solve uh, for the metric. Uh, we start with the uh, Ullmann uh, uh, equation, uh, so-called. So, so uh, I'm not sure that this is uh, the first place but where it appeared. Probably it was uh, earlier, but uh, uh, um, in this like overview, uh, it's, it's definitely there. And uh, so uh, the goal is the Borel's metric. How do we get it? We get it by this uh, product of, uh, of D rho, rho is, again, the density matrix, matrix and uh, a form, a one form G rho. Uh, how to get the one form G rho? We get it, uh, uh, so it's implicitly here in, the, in uh, this equation, and we have to, uh, well, solve for it, which is, I mean, yeah, the special case of the Sylvester matrix equation, uh, which, uh, uh, so when we are solving for, for, for the unknown matrix X, so, so G rho in our case, uh, we can rewrite uh, this into an equivalent form I mean, of a set of linear equations. So in the direct notation, if we vectorize uh, the, do like vectorization of this, uh, matrix uh, X, uh, we get a vector where the columns of, of the matrix X so are above each other and uh, analogically for the C on the right hand side which was uh, the matrix D rho in our case. Uh, so we get this set of linear equations uh, where the L is uh, given by this Kronecker sum and uh, we uh, which, I mean, we can already uh, uh, solve such an equation. So uh, in our case, so in our notation, and uh, in the case that we uh, use a single regular decomposition of, uh, of the density matrix, or we rewrite it uh, uh, in this form, so such that uh, R is a diagonal matrix uh, uh, with uh, arranged eigenvalues in decreasing order. And uh, so, in this case, the, uh, the system of linear equation, equations looks like this, where x is u times uh, the, the one form g rho times u uh, <coughs> Hermitian. And uh, well, 
uh, the matrix uh, differential on the right-hand side uh, is given by, uh, by uh, the R uh, and the commutator of omega R where commutator is this, is this, uh, uh, is this uh, form. Uh, so the, the matrix uh, looks like this, uh, this, this LN on the, on the left-hand side. Uh, this, uh, uh, it has this block uh, diagonal form, so comprises the eigenvalues, R1, 2, 2, Rn, and, uh, and uh, yeah, this is the form. Um, okay, so if we, uh, as for the explicit uh, solutions, um, Qubit and Qtrit are the two cases of, uh, of interest, um, and if uh, so, if we if we if we solve uh, this uh, this system, um, so again the goal was to to, to receive the metric. So uh, if we solve uh, solve this system of uh, of linear equations, uh, in the case of a qubit and uh, for for uh, matrices, for density matrices of rank, uh, rank two, uh, we receive uh, such a, uh, a result. So uh, um, we have to calculate, uh, well, so the first step is to calculate the omega. Uh, so these left invariant forms, uh, which uh, are given explicitly here through uh, the Euler uh, angles. And, uh, so taking into account, yeah, sure that R1 plus R, R2 equals one, that's, uh, that's the uh, condition of, of trace one. Uh, we get this, uh, uh, this uh, expression for, for the Boris metric. So again, two means we are working, it's a qubit. Uh, K uh, equals two uh, is the rank of the matrix. So that's the first expression for for k equals one, uh, uh, so which are which is the space of uh, pure states, uh, we get uh, we get uh, such a corresponding expression. Um, yeah, so that's the case of, of a qubit. Uh, for a qubit, uh, yeah, in the uh, Euler parameterization, so we have uh, we have now eight. Uh, um, uh, so eight parameters uh, here with uh, with uh, these intervals, and uh, uh, yeah, this uh, I mean this is the uh, fr from here we so that's the u, and uh, that's uh, uh, the starting point to calculate the uh, the what is that the uh, the the omega, yeah, which is uh, which is uh, u Hermitian times uh, du. Once this is com uh, calculated, we have uh, the right hand side and uh, and the left hand side was given ex explicitly here. Yeah, so this uh, uh, the calculation is uh, yeah, I mean uh, um, analogous to the case of uh, of a qubit, um, and uh, and uh, expressions are uh, well. Uh, more complicated uh, and uh, well there there are some results uh, for a rank one uh, states for rank uh, three and two uh, yeah that's uh, an ongoing project and uh, we have to check uh, these results um, yeah so there are like uh, there are some uh, subtleties in uh, so the question is then of course what to do uh, I mean how to connect uh, the metrics uh, for how to go over from uh, in the metrics from different uh, um, I mean for different ranks how to connect uh, these metrics how to connect the manifolds uh, and uh, yeah, that's uh, this is uh, 
this uh, remains to be to be understood and, and, and finished. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it for the moment. Thanks for all the attention. Yeah, Wagen. Actually, uh, no, it was a few of them. Uh, first question, uh, the question goes like this. Uh, I need to understand what's the new result here, because all these formulas that I have seen, in the case of rank one, everything is more or less trivial, right? It's just it's constructed, it's just living on this rank one uh, manifold, uh, and it would be OK. This is the first question. The second question is, when you are considering the by the rank, uh, are you sure that we preserve the monochronicity of uh, your matrix on this plasma? In the bulk, we know that uh, Fisher's quantum Fisher's matrix is monochronic. But uh, one second, we need uh, a, a new microphone because yeah. uh, the, the yeah. sound only from this microphone. Yeah, the first question was uh, what's exactly new in these formulas, because as far as I understand, there is a prescription, but as far as I understand, I only see no results because the rank one case is trivial, more or less. And the second one is whether we preserve the monotonicity of uh, <coughs> the uh, Burash metric uh, when we go to this r lower rank strata. Okay, so the answer to the first question is, uh, yeah, I mean, that's true, what has been shown here, I mean, was, uh, is known, but uh, uh, I mean, the thing is that uh, the approach that uh, is used will then enable uh, to, uh, to get uh, the correct answers in the, uh, in the case of a uh, Q-trit uh, as well, and compared. I am quite confident about that, yeah, because of the calculations that we, that we did. But the, the prescription works, yes, yes. I'm not, I mean, because it wasn't finished, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm quite confident, yeah, because, uh, because of uh, uh, that this method would, uh, uh, will lead to the result. It's, uh, it's completely analogous. Uh, and uh, the, uh, uh, as for the uh, second question, uh, no, the answer is no. <laughs> Not, not sure <laughs> how, how this will, uh, yeah, I mean, there are actually more, even more subtleties, uh, more, more things to be checked and uh, understood. Uh, so how it, how the transition between different rank metrics works. <laughs>